Today I'm going to show you how to um, get a PS3 or Xbox controller working on your PC. Alright, let's get started. Um, first thing you start off, you need to get, well, you obviously need to get your PS3 controller or Xbox. Plug it straight in. Get plugged in. Okay. Next, you need to download two programs. Alright, I have them all here. Is done on two programs. First one I have it here is Motion Joy website. Uh, when you get onto the website, go to downloads. I um, have link in my description so they can get. Okay. You also need to get another program called Xpadder. Okay. Once you've got both of these, start Motion Joy up. Let's find it. I already have mine started up. Okay. Start off, you gotta go into driver manager. Right there. You have to click on this one. I have no idea what my second one is, but it's that one. Okay. Tick that box and then click load driver. Go back to if it's done it, go back to profile. Alright, if this does this to you, and it says still waiting for controller, what you've got to do is exit the program, and start back up. And it should be working. Alright, after you've done that, you can test your vibration. Oh, you got to enable it, then test vibration. It seems to be working fine. And now, after you've done that, you've got to set up your X banner. Okay, I'm starting from scratch so I can show you how to do it. Okay, go into here and click new. Look up this screen. This is where you start inputting your buttons. Okay, that's your joysticks. It says. Yep, working. Um, right stick. Okay, they're both on. Now, you can position them the way you want. You can even load a picture up so you have a controller there and you just set up so it looks nice. Okay. Next up, the D-pad. Okay, the D-pad won't work at the start. You have to configure a few things. Look, I push right and it goes left. I push left, it goes down. I push down, it goes right. So, yeah, you can just change that layer. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now I'm going to buttons and push every button. Okay. Triangle, square, X, circle. L1, R1, L2, R2. Um, oh, and select start and a home button. Okay, I've put all them in. Rearrange them to the way you want them. Okay, so X goes over here. I've just put this into fast forward quickly so you can see what's. So you don't have to watch me do it because it took ages. You don't actually have to do this, it's just to make it look nicer and so you know what each button does. Okay, that's just a very basic way of laying it out. Triggers, I don't 100%. Ah, here you go. That inputs the triggers if you want to do it. I think that's like the proper way of doing it. Um, after you've done that, you can click OK on that. And then you start setting up the layout. Uh, set up to whatever you want. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. If you want it so you can control your computer around, you can click. It's that one. There you go. That's using my joystick and it moves around for me. You can also do some other stuff. If you want to make it a precise button, just click on it, click on that button and then click whatever you want on the keyboard. Alright. Alright, you're going to test this out in the game now. You need to find a game.
Right, it's in the game. Mario Combat. Okay, um, play. Okay, yep, left, right, dual stick. Yep, oh, jumps up, so I don't need space for X, just push up. Okay, um, how do you kill these things? You can punch, I think. Um, you punch. No, can't jump on them. Uh, punch. Ah, A. I've got to change that for the control. Alright, so change square to A. Yep. Better. Oops. Okay, um run around. Kill people or turtles, whatever you want to call them. Fun game, I'm getting my butt kicked by three ninja turtles. Oh four. Um, anyways, yep, that's the tutorial, um, you can use this for any game, hope you enjoy, thanks for watching.